One of the primary purposes of a LinkedIn page is to be able to share status updates that people who follow your page will see on their newsfeed. Similar to other social networks, people who are interested in your business can follow your page. Once they follow your page, they'll see your status updates in their newsfeed. As you can see here, when I log into LinkedIn, my default view is my newsfeed which shows me status updates from people and pages that I'm interested in. You can see here is an example of a page showing up in my newsfeed with their post. So the reality is that as a business, if people follow your page, you'll want to post status updates so that they continue to stay connected with you and so that you can grow exposure for your business or your organization. When it comes to status updates, your status updates should be focused on the unique audience of LinkedIn. So for example, if you're a consumer goods company, rather than posting consumer facing advertising on LinkedIn, you'll want to think about how business professionals view your business. So we can see, for example, with Procter and Gamble, they adapt their content and share things related to their equality in terms of hiring, they're, that they're sharing that they value women in leadership. So they're very focused on, right now it's around National Women's Day, so they're focused on highlighting that and overall highlighting the organization. Most businesses will customize the content that they post on LinkedIn and make it a little bit different than what they're posting on other social networks like Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. Again, your content on LinkedIn should really be targeted to the LinkedIn audience, which is a much more professional audience than what you typically will find on other social networks. So step one in terms of thinking about your LinkedIn strategy is to make sure that you have a content plan for your status updates where you're creating relevant status updates for the LinkedIn audience. And a great example of an organization that does a great job of this is AARP. AARP is a nonprofit organization. And what you'll notice is if you were to look at their Facebook page, their Facebook page is really targeted on kind of like fun things about retirement, like cool places to live, stuff like that. Their LinkedIn page is targeted on different things. So we can see something about age discrimination uh, being illegal. Uh, women in their 60s and 70s are having too much fun to retire. Why I miss old people in the workplace. Interesting. So what you'll notice is that the content that you see them posting on LinkedIn as status updates is much more focused on what a business audience would be interested in, or at least it has a professional context to it. Whereas if we were to look at what they're posting on Facebook, we'll probably find that on Facebook, their strategy is to post content that's a little more fun and exciting. So as you think about the opportunity with status updates, what you really wanna be thinking about is the opportunity that you have to customize your content strategy to match what a LinkedIn audience in particular may be looking for. The next thing you'll wanna think about as it pertains to your strategy on LinkedIn is how often you should be posting. Now, keep in mind that the way people see your status updates on LinkedIn is primarily going to be in their newsfeed. So some people will go to your page just to see everything you've posted, but most people will probably be experiencing your content primarily in their newsfeed. So what this means is that you want to make sure that you're posting updates when your audience is online so you can get in front of them. So that brings up the next question, which is how often should you post status updates on LinkedIn? The answer is, not surprisingly, it depends. If you look at what most businesses and organizations are doing, most of them post on the low end as little as maybe once a week, and on the high end as little as one, as much as once, twice, even three times a day. 
What you need to think about is your content strategy for LinkedIn. What specifically are you trying to achieve? Do you want to share job postings and also some B2B thought leadership? If that's your goal, it may take multiple posts a day to achieve it. If your goal on LinkedIn is just to use it as another brand building tool for your organization, you may not need to post as frequently. So as you think about your strategy, what you may want to think about is what really makes sense for your unique business. The thing that's nice about LinkedIn is that there's not so much a rhythm where people will expect you to be posting every day or multiple times a day like they might on maybe Twitter or Instagram. So for most pages, you'd want to aim to plan for posting about once a week at a minimum, but you can post as many as a few times a day if you have enough content that's relevant for the right audience. The most important thing when determining your frequency of posting should be do you have good content for your audience? That's more important than sticking to a schedule. So once you have your page set up on LinkedIn, think about your content strategy. What can you post that the people following you will be interested in and try to post regularly to keep them excited and engaged.